Hey guys, it's Casey. Um, I wanted to do a quick update on what's going on. Um, I went in for my PET scan, which is the first one I've had since uh, therapy has stopped. I decided not to do radiation, which my uh, cancer doctor and the radiation doctor were both comfortable with. So uh, I always had said before, if they ever were comfortable or confident and me not going through radiation, I was so not going to do it. But um, my doctor found some new readings or studies or whatever that said that going through radiation could be worse for Hodgkin's patients. But the study he was talking about was if the Hodgkin's was in more areas and if um, the radiation was higher. And mine was only two areas and it was relatively low. So it wasn't necessarily the same thing, but... Um, I, I asked, you know, would you feel comfortable if I didn't do it? And he said that he would, and so did my other doctor, so I didn't go through with it. So I had my uh, PET scan, which it's been two months since I've been, uh, since my last chemo. And if you can notice, I got eyebrows. Nice. <laughs> this light does not help how my hair looks, but I am, like, getting some hair growing back. And my hair is the same color as it was before. I either wanted it to be like white blonde or I wanted it to be like super dark and it's nothing. It's still like dirty, dirty blonde. <laughs> it's still the exact same color. Um, but anyway, I did the PET scan and uh, went in last week, last Wednesday was my appointment and they had found some uptake in my neck. And uh, my, you know, my neck is where I first felt the, my lymph node was enlarged so that was like the first spot of um you know anything they had ever found so as soon as i heard that like my heart just dropped through my butt it felt like i mean i was just like you have got to be freaking kidding me you know my doctor said that he doesn't think that it's my lymph node but they're not sure it could either be my lymph node or it could be some residual thyroid tissue that was left over from my thyroid surgery which it could very well be, but I already took the radioactive iodine pill for the residual thyroid tissue that was left over. When you have your thyroid removed, you have to take that pill because when they take your thyroid out, they don't just like pull it out. They like scrape it out is how I was told. So there can be tissue left over. So if they find any cancer in your, th in your thyroid, then you have to take this radioactive iodine, which all it is is just a pill that you just pop and then you go home. Um, so, you know, they still, they found that there was still residual stuff there. So I took the radioactive iodine and that was last month. So they think that it could be leftover thyroid tissue or it could be my lymph node. Um, of course I was just praying that it would be residual thyroid stuff, but I don't know why there would be any left because I did take that radioactive iodine. I have, I did some research and I found that it is possible that it could leave some behind and you would have to take it again, the pill again. So, oh, I hope that's what it is. But, um, I, I got to my car and I started to cry. <laughs> Even now, like thinking about it, it's still tough because I never really cried, um, with my initial diagnosis. Like I got a, a I got like a quivery lip a couple times, but I was always just like, Casey, you got to do what you got to do, you know, and you got to get through this and, you know, getting upset's not going to do any good. Now, there were times when I would get scared and I'd give myself a good, you know, 15, 30 minutes to just get it all out and whatever. Um, but that was very few and far between <laughs> that I ever did that. And, um, I was just, I don't know, this was the first time that I like legitimately felt really, really scared that, oh my God, I've been on a chemo for freaking two weeks and something is back. Like, oh, I just, I was really worried and I try to prepare myself for good news and bad news. And, um, I don't know, I was still shocked. And when I was visiting with my radiation doctor, when I was about ready to go through the radiation, she told me, she said, you know, if you decide not to do that, that's fine. You know, as long as you can live with yourself of not doing it, that's okay. But, you know, people that have a recurrence of cancer, it's harder for them usually the second time than their initial diagnosis. And she was right. And I haven't even been told that it's a recurrence yet. It's just a possibility. But she was right. I mean, it was really tough for me. And 
Um, the first thing I went and did was eat Chinese food. <laughs> I was by myself, so I went and got drive through Chinese, which actually did make me feel better. <laughs> that Chinese food's awesome. Um, but uh, I got home, I called my dad, and... I got like a little choked up talking to him, but I don't, I don't show a lot of emotion with my parents. Um, plus, you know, I'm sure you can understand this, but it's like, if you, you know, show people that you're positive and that you're still yourself, then it's like, they kind of relax about everything and they feel more positive. And it's like, if they feel more positive then you feel more positive and you kind of think everything's going to be okay if they feel good about it, you know, and so I always try to just remain like that. And um, then I called my mom because she was on the road. She was working and I just freaking lost it. And I really didn't want to with my mom because it's been pretty hard for her. But I just, it was just really hard telling, you know, her that it, it could come back. I don't know. But uh, I just... I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to tell myself that, sorry, I'm leaking from everything I got going on here. Um, I'm not going to tell myself that, oh, it's probably not that. Don't worry. I mean, I have to prepare for if it is. And if it is chemo, I'll go through it again. You know, if, if chemo is what I got to do. You know, I went through chemo the first time. And I went through that while they were trying to regulate my thyroid. And they weren't doing it very well. So... I was going through chemo, I had a hypoactive thyroid, so that was even more fatigue, even more hair loss, um, and I was working full time, I was going to school full time, so, ugh, it, I mean, it was horrible, <laughs> but I, I got through it, and honestly, I know that it's something I could get through again, I could, you know, and we've been, around the house, we've been moving to organic food, and doing stuff like that and that's made a difference minus my Chinese fall back <laughs> but um so I, if I had to go through chemo again I know I would do I would do okay and hopefully I would do better than the first time uh I really hope that doesn't happen of course but I asked my doctor I said if it turns out to be Hodgkin's again what are we gonna do and he said that you know we might have to do like a stem cell transplant I would definitely have to go through the radiation but he doesn't give a, much of an answer because if it's not black or white he's not going to even hardly comment on it which is good and bad like it's good but it's also like really annoying <laughs> you know because like I want an answer but he can't give it to me so I have to wait six weeks and then I have to do another PET scan they want to see if they can get a better picture of it and if they can see if it's moved or if it's done anything crazy so um I have to go back, so it'll be five weeks now. I'll do another PET scan, and we'll just kind of see. Sorry, I'm snotty. Uh, we'll see what's going on. But uh, hopefully it comes out well. Of course, I hope that. And if it doesn't, that's just something we're going to have to deal with. And, you know, I'll keep you guys updated. And if I do have to go through more therapy and more treatment, then you will be right there with me. <laughs> While I have a poor attitude and a big old bitch to everybody. No, that will not happen. But um, anyways, I'll let you guys know what's going on. I'll Hopefully I'll do some more videos before then. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. Soon? Soon? Anyway, talk to you later. Bye.